Frederick, Your Highness. I've looked into your proposal and letter of interest in buying the vast land near the express. And I'm sorry we are not selling. Oh, Your Highness, I show me no disrespect. But is there no way we can convince you to sell the land to us? The board of directors will be extremely happy over this, Your Highness. And in furtherance to this, the board is also willing to give a whooping sum of 15 million naira to grease your palm. <laughs> oh, Mr. Frederick, I am sorry. I took this decision when I read your letter of interest. In order to carry my people along, as our people have a saying that Ohamweze is a Melora, I had to consult my chiefs. And they said the same. So, Mr. Frederick, I'm sorry. That's our final decision. Oh, Your Highness, what if an extra whooping sum of 20 million naira is added to the 50. Can we have a go? Mr. Frederick, money is not our problem. That land is more important to us than your establishment. Like I said, that's our final decision. Okay then, Your Highness. I think I should be taking my leave now. Uh, but in case if there is any change of mind, please, deem it fit to let me know. Um, Chief Ibe. Your Highness. Please, see him off. Come with me. Okay. I may get to my house from there. You're permitted, Chief Ibe. Your Highness, I totally agree with your decision. But may I know your reasons for refusing them? <laughs> then see. My King. There is no other reason than if it is a security risk for our people. That piece of land 
is the entrance into our community. Will you want a stranger to occupy it and hem us in? Your Highness, that is exactly what is on my mind. Especially with the level of insecurity in the country. Yeah, Mr. Frederick, I am sorry that um, you could not get what you wanted. I am even more disappointed that I couldn't convince His Majesty. I believe all hope is not lost. With you around, you can still put in a word or two for us. We are ready to part with a sum of 100 million. Um, Mr. Frederick, as you can see, His Majesty is chief of the old block. He's very upright. In fact, he's an upright man and very educated. His Majesty and his chiefs are not swayed by materialism. And um, in this very kingdom, we prefer good names rather than money or cash or whatever. I'm really sorry I ought not to have mentioned it to you. Right. I quite appreciate your effort. No problem. Thank you very much. It's all right. You're welcome. Some other time, eh? Same here. Have a nice day. That reminds me, the palace secretary wanted to remind you that the succession initiation is already overdue. Just to remind you, Your Highness. Well, um, I am glad you reminded me of this. I will inform him on when the rights will be performed, please. So he will um, arrange for a press conference. Meanwhile, thank you very much. You're welcome, Your Highness. I beg to take my leave. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, my regards to your people. Okay, Your Highness. Here we are. How long have you been standing here? Long enough to have had your conversation with Chief Udensi. Oh yes, um, imagine a weighty matter escaping my mind. How could I have forgotten that it is time to name my successor to the throne of Isiyama and then prepare for the rites? Besides, it's high time my son returns home to understudy me. Hmm. It's better we set the record straight so we don't make mistakes.
Dorsey. Your Majesty. I want to discuss a well, very important thing with you. I'm all ears, Your Majesty. Dorsey, you're my cousin. And at the same time, the Uno of Isiama Kingdom. And that makes you very important personality in our kingdom. Then say I have trusted you all my life. But this time I need a high level of trust from you. Your Majesty, you can always count on me. You and I know the secret behind my first son, Ikeji. Yes, Your Majesty. On no account shall anybody, not even my wife, know about her biography. Don't want my wife to know that Ikeji is my biological son. Please, Udansi. You can count on me. My lips are sealed forever. Good. Lori, what record are you talking about? Members of the councils of your chiefs expect you to name a successor, isn't it? You and I know there is a record to be set straight. So that nobody is taken unawares among our children and the people of Isiana. There is no record to set straight. I insist there is a record to be set straight. And I insist that, that there is no record to set straight. And I'm telling you that there is a record to be set straight. In case you have forgotten, I will remind you. That is it that you are planning. I want you to share it. I am warning you. I would rather die telling the truth 
than having it brutal inside of me. I have carried it long enough. Ogori, that a child can cry does not mean that dead bodies are not carried past his father's compound. There are things that are better left unsaid. Allow the past to remain where they are. Haven't you heard? There is no today without yesterday. The truth they say will set everyone free. And I'm ready to say it. I will say the truth whether you like it or not. I don't care. I'm not afraid. 
Oh, on a gun here. How are you? Fine. You're welcome. Good You're good welcome. I'm happy to see you. Oh, my dear. Our wife shall be well with you. You're welcome. <laughs> so, uh, how was your trip? It was wonderful. Was wonderful. Dad! Ah. <laughs> How are you doing, Dad? I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> Don't go. Oh, you're welcome, my dear. Dad, do you still remember Choma? Um, you came with her the last time. You got it right, Dad. <laughs> Once again, you're welcome, my dear. Thank you, Your Majesty. She's beautiful. You can Thank say that again, Dad. <laughs> You're looking good. <laughs> Since you died, you're not looking bad. Uh, as you can see, I'm all right. <laughs> Thank you. But we got your message and came as soon as we could, yeah? What message did you get and who sent it? I sent it. Especially for you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> anyway, Mara here is good at cooking too. Mm. But not as good as you, man. <laughs> Even my woman, she can cook too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, excuse me, mother. Are you okay? Yes. Enjoy your meal, please. <laughs> I made it specially for you. Am I trying to? I asked you to abort this baby. I can't marry you because I'm married and you know it. My friend is not. My friend has to do something. Let me remove this pregnancy now. I'm not being right now. Mm -hmm. I'm so Obegeli, Just stop crying. You understand me? You just, you just have to abort the baby. Please. I can't see you. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> something wrong and it is very serious because in all my 21 years I have never seen you and mother quarrel
Please, Father. What is the matter? Your mother wants to stay the honeycomb. I don't understand, Father. lost it. Trying to destroy all we built over the years. Trying to destroy my family. Whatever the issue is can be resolved. You don't need to get your blood pressure up. Remember your condition. Please, Father. You need to eat. Kingdom of fire 